Hi everyone, I want to talk to you guys today about the safety plan assignment. So, um, you are going to be working in the teams that you are in. So as a team, you are going to develop a safety plan for a person. So you are going to interview a woman of your choice, a friend, a neighbor, a member of your own family, and create the safety plan for that person. Now this is very important. You are not expected to find someone who is currently in an abusive relationship to do this exercise with. Um, your safety plan recipient um, must pretend or imagine what it would be like to be in an abusive relationship. So you will write the safety plan paper as a team and have your own individual reactions at the bottom of the paper. So, as a team, you will write a paper, three to four pages, of the process of developing the safety plan with the quote-unquote victim, the issues that it brought up, and the feelings attached to the exercise by both the student and the victim. Um, the re recipient of the safety plan, the victim, should be described with regards to gender, age, um, currently in the relationship or has left the relationship, place of residence, ethnicity, employment status. Again, some of these things um, can be their natural things. If they want to use their own age, their own um, race, they can, or they can make something up. So when you're writing the safety plan paper, students should tie in what they've learned from this assignment with the readings um, from the book. You will also attach a copy of the safety plan form that where you fill out the sections with the quote unquote victim. So since not everyone lives in San Antonio, you, you will have to be creative to figure out how you will work together to do this uh, assignment. You will need one person from your group to find a volunteer or friend or family member who is willing to be interviewed. Again, please do not use a real victim in an abusive relationship. You will need to coordinate a time when everyone can be present for the interview, either physically or via Skype, FaceTime, conference call, Zoom calls. Everyone must be present for the interview. If you live in San Antonio and are on campus, um, I would be, prefer for you guys to be together for the interview. You can do a phone interview as well. Um, there's certain tools like Doodle where you can um, schedule a time that's convenient for everybody and you can list multiple times and figure out what time works for everybody. Zoom is another good tool um, to uh, have some kind of conference call or video call with them. <clears throat> Here's some things that you'll be graded on. Uh, completeness, were all of the sections of the safety plan addressed. Um, thoughtfulness of the safety plan paper, did the suggested safety measures match what was needed by the recipient? Did the plan offer opportunities to enhance potential safety? Similar things like that. Thoroughness, did the safety plan paper include a discussion of the impact of the plan on both the student and the recipient? Um, your thoughts and feelings of how that um, safety plan um, went down and, and what that was like. <clears throat> and appropriateness, to what extent were the ideas discussed have the potential for increasing the safety of the recipient? So there are some things that you're going to be doing as a team, and then there are some things that you're going to be doing as an individual. So you will um, complete the safety plan form with the quote unquote victim. So you're going to fill in the blanks for that form. And then as a team, you write up a paper. So this is what um, the paper will consist of. And then at the end, each individual will write up their reactions to doing this. And so you will need to attach each individual reaction at the bottom of the team paper. So you should only be turning in two papers. One paper that has the fill in the blank um, responses from doing the safety plan with the quote unquote victim. And then one paper that has the three to four page team paper and then an individual reaction from each person at the end. The individual reaction is about a page for each person. 
<clears throat> so you, um, it's going to be very important that you have outlines for this paper as a team. Make sure you have headings. So you might want to have a demographics heading describing um, the victim and things like that. Um, you may want to have a reaction section. Um, so this kind of gives you kind of an outline for what you can do for each section of the paper. And then again, each person needs a paragraph or about a page about their own person's reaction to the process. Include everyone's responses in one paper at the end. So under the assignments section on Blackboard, there's a safety plan with notes file that provides you with some notes to consider when conducting the safety plan. And then there's a safety plan blank file that you are to use when you're actually interviewing the victim. Please make sure you have completed this form as well. And online under the assignments is the rubric for this as well. So please make sure you, you take a look at that. As always, please let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to working and reading these. Thank y'all so much.